What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Yeah, you heard right. This brand is uh, literally made out of trash. <laughs> Girlfriend Collective, anybody? So if you're somebody who has never heard of Girlfriend Collective, neither have I. I happened to be stumbling upon an article. It was the best active wear of 2021. And Girlfriend Collective was one of them, so I had to look into them. So I was checking out their site and the very first thing I noticed was how inclusive they were. Like, check it out for yourself, I'll have them linked. Super inclusive and extremely sustainable like I've never seen from a brand before. For crying out loud, the bag that it comes in is like a, a freaking lunch bag, like my mama used to make my school lunches in. <laughs> you guys, these aren't your like normal, traditional, super gym-oriented activewear. These are actually really feminine, very pretty colors, high durability. These are perfect for more of an active fashion. If you want to look super cute, be very comfortable. Not necessarily for crazy gym movements, more of a yoga-based, if anything. We have three solid sets here that we're gonna try on. These are kind of like my first impression, not gonna lie, but just from feeling them out, literally feeling them out, they feel really, really high quality. And considering they're all made of like water bottles and different trashy products, <laughs> I'm kind of interested to see like how it fits and feels. I don't think I've ever worn water bottles before. Have you? All right guys, so before we hop into the try on, real quick, I'd like to thank Just CBD for sponsoring this portion of today's video. You know, if you follow me on Instagram, how much I rave about Just CBD. Their products, they have a ton of premium grade products. I'll have them linked down below for you. My personal favorites from them are their gummies. They got a crazy selection. They're vegan. Oh baby, they're the ones I'm really loving this summertime. They're gluten-free, non-GMO, cholesterol-free, and obviously vegan. You're looking at 300 milligrams of CBD per pack, so you definitely get your money's worth. So definitely check them out below. I will have them linked. You can use my code Ashley for 20% off. All right guys, so I picked out three full sets on their site. I wanna get a little bit of a variety. So we got a legging, a skort. Skorts are trendy now, all right? I don't know if you noticed that, but they are. And some basic like loose fitting shorts. So let's see what these sets have to offer. This whole order came out to a little over 300 bucks. So in other words, you're looking at almost 100 bucks a set on average. A little bit pricey, but you know what? It's good for the environment, so. <laughs> so I like to think I'm doing my part in the world. What's really cool, I actually saw on their site, if you have some of their clothing that you no longer use anymore, you send it back to them and they actually recycle your clothes for somebody else's clothes. They make more. So right now, what I bought might be somebody else's old clothes. So the first set, we're looking at the quartz squirts. Say that 10 times fast, I can't, can you? And the squirts paloma, nope, quartz paloma, what? <laughs> the Quartz Paloma bra. Their tags are really funny because, see, I'm not the only one calling them trash. They call themselves trash. It even says on the tag, it says, let's talk some trash. <laughs> I really love that they're proud of being made out of trash. So therefore, I'm proud to talk to them and refer to them as trash. So let's start with the score. yes. So I've been seeing all over social media, gals, especially in the fitness realm, they're starting to like really bring back the score trend. I don't know about you, but I used to wear skorts back in the day. It's just basically, you know, a skirt with a pair of shorts inside of it. It's for that extra security, something I definitely need. It is a beautiful high-waisted skirt. I really love the natural earthy tone, that light tan for the summer. Looks good with a pop of red lips, just saying. It is super straightforward. Really, nothing crazy about it. You do have a seam on the back, but the whole front is completely smooth. There's actually a little hidden pocket inside the band with a little grip on the outside. I dig it. So you do have a pocket technically. I feel like with my body, I have to be careful when it comes to like, skirts not all of them look that good because I'm kind of short so I'm hoping the length on this is flattering and not uh, not shitty <laughs> then we have the matching racerback bra again very straightforward I like how simple this design is you don't want too much going on all right when you're wearing a skirt, try to show out a little bit you don't need it over the top so yeah there's no crazy molding in this either kind of like that because sometimes they get a little fudged up this is a very smooth this is going to be a smooth baby i can already feel it ah. <laughs> so this is totally different than what i'm used to right? 
There's no doubt in my mind, the quality is absolutely out of this world. I love this skirt. I love it. Look, <gasps> we have shorts underneath here that aren't overly tight because I hate that so much because it defeats the purpose of it being a fun, comfortable skirt. You do have really nice mesh style pockets on both sides. Always love that. I didn't know that was there, but now I do. They do not roll up actually. You stay nice and put. Do you see that? No roll up whatsoever. Don't know about the dreaded CT, but it doesn't exactly matter because now we got a score. Okay, length is great. For me being five foot three, what do you think, babe? I think it's a perfect length. This look is just made for just white tennis shoes. You know what I mean? Go out with your girlfriends, go on for brunch, something like that, you know? Let's do the bend and snap test, shall we? You know what the bend and snap is, right? No. From Legally Blonde? No. Nope. The bend and snap. <laughs> I can't do it like Reese Witherspoon does it, but you know what I'm saying. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I pretty much love everything about this skirt. Just one little thing because I nitpick everything is it bunches right up here. When you're just casually wearing it, there's a little buncheroo going on over here. So if that's something that bothers you, keep that in mind. Uh, I don't really care, I could just keep pulling it down, I guess. But as you move around, it like somehow finds its way up to bunch. So I really love the sports bra, how it kind of looks like seamless in a way. There's no seams or anything over here, but you have like a nice thick elastic band right underneath here. It's actually really soft, almost like a sofa. <laughs> it feels like like a nice soft bedding underneath here. All right, when I first put it on, you saw a little something, something, okay? Not gonna lie. Without the cushion underneath, ha, it's very comfortable, but this is something I would maybe put like a cardigan over, <laughs> just being honest. I would give this sports bra a low support because there's really nothing holding the boobies. Okay, so my overall thoughts on this, it's really cute, uh, very comfortable, high quality, you can tell, but I hate the fact that there's no padding here. I can't really do much with that. Can't bring it out and about. I'm gonna show the world my nipples. Like, I don't wanna do that. There's a lot of wrinkles <laughs> for the price. Like, I feel like, like there's wrinkles here, there's wrinkles here, there's wrinkles everywhere. Okay guys, so now we have this beautiful orangey creamsicle color set. Ah, oh, perfect for those hot summer days. No, not really, because this is pretty thick, so it wouldn't be good for that. We have the Horizon High Rise Legging and the same exact sports bra you just saw. These got seams up in it, so um, this is gonna be interesting to try it on. It could be hit or miss, I don't know. What really stood out to me with this orange is that it's not like a totally vibrant neon orange. It almost has like that, like I said, like a creamsicle vibe. So I thought it would look really, really cute wearing in the summertime, maybe at night when, it's, when it cools down a little bit, you got a little suntan burn and you gotta cool down. Maybe wear something like this to be super comfortable in. Between the high waist on these and the like, conservativeness of this bra, I feel like it might just show very, very little skin, like very little tummy. So I kind of like that because everything I own is extreme <laughs> and is usually always showing like most of my entire stomach. So this might be nice when I just kind of want to like walk a boardwalk and not totally be hanging out everywhere. This might be a nice alternative, uh, okay? I need some variety, I need some more active fashion that I'm gonna keep nice and not train hard in. <laughs> no. I think the best way to describe this material and like the feeling and the fit of it in general, because they're all like seem to be made out of the same thing so far, it's just stiff feeling. It's a little stiff, I'm not gonna lie. Like like a plastic water bottle or something like that. <laughs> it's Wrinkle Nation right here, okay? I see that they tend to like their back wrinkles, which I'm not totally cool with. They even have it like in the front here, it's a little wrinkly. There's no dreaded camel toe. That I will give them. That's a plus, yes to that. Um, but other than that, it's like freaking wrinkly. Like what the hell's going on here? Hold on, is this even on right? <laughs> it is like, Wrinkling around my kneecaps. <laughs> is it squat proof? 99%, mm, I can still see some cracks. So it's not like 100% squat proof, but for the most part, it's pretty, pretty opaque. I love this color, but like guys, I can 
cannot. <laughs> I just can't. I can't do it when there's that many wrinkles going on. And granted, girl, you know that I prefer seamless leggings, but I really wanted to give these a try. I'm trying not to be so biased with leggings. I want to try different kinds. And usually it's this dreaded CT that turns me away, but these ones don't give me a camel toe, even with my legs really close. So we're good. Check out the length though. I have to say for 5'3", they were spot on. That is a really nice, healthy length. You got a lot of seamed contour pockets too. So you got two pockets on the side. Pretty functional, I'm not gonna lie. If you're somebody who really loves like seamed leggings, you really like that thick material. I think this is something, if you were to sweat in, you're gonna die. It's not that breathable. I actually got some of my self tanner on it. So Bay took a little wet wipe and wiped it down. And you could still see, that was like 10 minutes ago and you could still see some like water over here. So, I mean, it doesn't seem to be that wicking either. They're just not good for like super active people. Like I feel like this is slowing my body down. Like me squatting, it's just kind of slowing me down a bit. It's just a little bit restrictive. Yeah. And I'm already heating up in them. <laughs> so I do not want to sweat in these because they are not breathable and I'm gonna die. All right guys, so this is the same sports bra as you saw before. Different color, same wrinkle. So <laughs> it's the same, same problems, all right? Look at this. Look at that. You can see where it just kind of like bunches up right here. So uh, it's not very flattering at all. I can't see myself wearing this. Okay guys, so for the last set, we're looking at the geranium shorts and the geranium Lou bra. Now we're mixing things up a little bit here. Okay, so we have a really beautiful color right here. It is, ooh, it's like a ruby, like red wanting to be pink. So it's a nice in-between color of red and pink. In some lighting actually, like in darker lighting it looks red. In lighter lighting it looks pink. Do you see this right now? Or am I seeing things? I am obsessed with loose fitted shorts. They're actually my, my biggest like grab and go in the summertime. I don't have to worry about anything when wearing them. Nothing hanging out, nothing just getting weird on me or, or showing off my quad muffin. This is very like carefree style. I love it. It's got the ruched waistband I like. It does have a liner because who doesn't like built-in undies? See, there's my underwear, okay? Showing you right now. So. <laughs> it looks like a purse. Okay. <laughs> I can't wait to see the length on these. I'm really happy they didn't come in ultra short. I, mean, I have plenty of those. <laughs> I got plenty of the booty show out shorts. Now I need something I can actually wear around my, my family members would be nice. Off the bat, I'm obsessed with the zip pockets. I really feel like every single brand who makes anything loose fitting, whether it's joggers or loose fitted shorts, should always have zipped up pockets because you are just asking, asking to lose your belongings when you got that loose pocket on the loose shorts. So I really do love that they put not one, but two on both sides. Oh, the geranium Lou bra. Woo. I straight up love the back of this. Yeah, so you got a nice like V, you vixen. This is a sexy bra. Now we're getting a little sexy, right? The other ones were a little conservative. This one's like, I'm a hot mama. This particular bra actually has little bra insert opening. There, there are like actual bra inserts, but they're so paper thin that you don't feel them, you don't see them, they practically don't exist, but they are there. Whereas the other ones don't have any like padding at all in them, and there's no insert to even put a pad in it. So um, keep that in mind. I already think I'm gonna like this one a little more, just for that reason. Now this is my speed. <laughs> I guess it's safe to say we saved the best for last because I love this set. This is dope. Okay, so we have nice loose fitted shorts. They are like feather light. I'm telling you feather freaking light up in here. I really love the fit here. You have the little cinched band, a little bit high waist, more like a mid to high rise. And then you have the liner underneath, which is like a bikini style liner right around here. I wish I could show you, but I can't. It's a little too, too much for the camera. These shorts are perfect length, feather light. The liner underneath is a bikini style and it does not dig in or rub, even when I move around. So I know there's gonna be no chafing, no, no red marks, 
no irritation. This was well designed. I will give them that, absolutely. Same with the sports bra. Very nice. Like this one, 10 times better than the other one. You have a little bit of padding here, so I don't have to worry like about the nipples showing. It's more secure. The cleavage looks better, if I do say so myself. And the backing is obviously a lot cuter. Yeah. Woo! My personal opinion, this is a set that's more or less worth this kind of money. Whereas the other ones, I would definitely pass on. This I would not. These shorts are dope. Very, very, very comfortable. They stay put and they have a drawstring here. So you could like make them tighter if you need to around the waist. I don't even need to. Like even just like loosening them up and still running around. These are freaking awesome. And then you got the two zippered pockets. Okay. Yeah, these I'm sold. I'm sold with these. The sports bra doesn't have the same problem as the other ones with the wrinkle. It's a lot shorter right here. It doesn't come as long. I feel like the other one was a little less flattering and just wrinkled. This is just a little more of my speed, my style, and there's no room, literally room for it to wrinkle. Um, it's very supportive. This is more of like now, I feel like more of the moderate support, better support than the other ones. Yeah. Oh yeah. All right guys, so that was it. What did you guys think of this brand? My overall thoughts are, for the price, I felt like the fit was a little bit off on some, most of the pieces. <laughs> the last set, the one I'm wearing right now, was definitely a keeper, and it kind of blew my mind compared to the rest that I had just tried on. So these I'll definitely be keeping, but the rest, um, sadly, are going the frig back. So even though some of the fits were a little bit off for me, I do really love the sustainability. I think that's awesome. I love how inclusive they are. I think their sizes go from like XXS to like XXL. So it's like a nice range for everybody to be able to wear. And I just, I really like their ethics a lot. So for that, like I think that's, I think it's, dope i really think it is definitely stay posted because we have some really fun upcoming videos we got some alpha elite bombshell bowen t we got some really fun brands coming your way oh and of course more gymshark <laughs> all right thank you all so much for watching and i'll catch you in my next video